Hi, y'all. So, I've been awake. Got my cane with me this morning. Like never made it to the car. It kind of scares me to go into a store. You know what I mean? So, I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot trying to download a video for y'all. Hopefully, y'all will y'all will get this. I'm totally starved. The old um pretty well makes you sick to where you can't eat anything. Excuse the hair, but no, it, it's all it's all good. So I got went by and got a biscuit. Not sure I'm gonna be able to eat it from uh, Bojangles. Not sure how much I'm gonna be able to eat. I guess we'll see, right? So, here's the biscuit, but where's the sausage? Where's the beef? Where's the pork? Where's the pork? Their biscuit's are okay, but a little on greasy side. I don't normally eat bread. So, I told y'all a month ago I had to go to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Because I've lost like 90% of my hearing. So they had to make some special, special forms for my ears. For my hearing aids to fit. So I got to go pick them up next week. I'm a little nervous about having to wear these in both ears. Like, you know. My health ain't no good. It's like deteriorating. So I was told... With these hearing aids, that it would interfere with me talking on the cell phone, and not only that, but I have plates and screws and stuff like that in my body, in my back, my knee cap, and stuff like that. And I heard it would interfere with that, but my hearing aids are going to be run off of my cell phone. I don't know if I like that or not. So hearing people knock on my door. It's really, really, really hard. I got a doorbell now, but sometimes I can hear it. Sometimes I can't. So I'm trying to figure out how to get that that little deal worked out to where I know if somebody's at my door to the neighbor's door because the neighbor's door is like six foot away from mine. Anyway, back to the plates in my body. So I don't watch TV. Haven't owned a TV in about ten years, I guess. So I listen to a radio. If I'm in the same room with it, it scrambles up because I have plates and metal in my body. And then if I walk into another room, the radio will play normally. Well, I'm afraid that's what's going to happen with my cell phone. Because, you know, one minute I'll be dancing to the music, next minute it's all scrambled up. So I can't be in the same room with my radio. Because of the plates in my body. But hey. What the hell else am I supposed to do? Water baby water. I've slacked up on my Coca-Cola's. Because they were turning my stomach. So yeah. I'm out with this stupid cane today. And hopefully I won't have to have the paramedics come. So normally when I go somewhere, I have to sit here and say, well, am I going to have enough strength to walk in here or not? You know, whatever. We'll see. Anyway, that's where I'm doing. So this should be interesting. I'm going to take your asses with me next week when I go get my hearing aids. See how that's going to work. Put these things in my ears. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But then again, I can turn them things all the way up. And hear if somebody's talking about me behind my back. And then I can turn around and pound them a time too. You know what I mean? That kind of shit. I heard what you said. You know, that kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway... So, having to have my phone with me at all times, depending on where I'm at and what I'm doing, 
Do I have to get on my phone and either turn the hearing aids up or down or... Well, you know, that, that kind of crap I'm going to have to deal with. Anyway, so the neighbor, it's gossip time. Yesterday morning, the neighbor was throwing shit across the porch, and I went out there. I said, Joseph, I'm going to tell you something. I am tired of your bull crap. This went on all night long. It's every freaking day. I said, no, me and you fixing a fight because I've had enough of your shit. Anyway, he goes up the road, gets high, comes back, passes out on the porch. Like three and a half, four hours. So I call the cops to tell them. I've called y'all people four times. Y'all ain't done nothing. Get your ass out here and get this crackhead off my porch. I am not kidding. I am fed up with it. Well, come four o'clock, he was still there, passed out in the chair, and I called again. Finally, here comes the cops. They're pounding on the neighbor's door. They're rattling the keys in front of this dude. He was out cold from drugs. So they was knocking on the door trying to get his mother out. I said, she's not going to open that door because he's sitting there. I said, hold on. So I pounded on the door. I said, Miss Mary, I said, it's D.D., open the door. It's okay. The cops are here. So she comes to the door. They make his ass leave. Trespassing is what he was doing. That's the $800 fine, and he just got out of prison on probation. They told him to get his ass on down the road, his ass going back to the pen. He left, but he was supposed to went to treatment. Well, I bet he did. I'll keep your asses updated. So anyway, fun in the hood, gossip in the hood. That's what y'all going to be getting, getting some of, uh, some gossip in the hood. Anyway, I'm going to try to get my ass out and go in the store and do what i got to do without having to call the paramedics. So, y'all have a wonderful day, and I will get back with y'all for some more hood gossip and some more D.D., of course. you got to have some D.D. Y'all have a wonderful day. We'll catch you later. I'm just saying. You know what I mean?